Hey, folks. All right. Come on, take a little journey with me. It's a Saturday afternoon. And I started doing this other dual system Neo Cube build. And I decided, um, well, I started feeling like, I don't know if that G chip is just going to be enough to, to push it. So I pulled out the Gigabyte board. I put in the ASRock because I really like the Gigabyte board. But first, I took the ASRock down to the shop and I trimmed off the back heat sink around maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. That thing is thick and about two inches long, just along the ridge, so I could put the 90 degree to 45, well, actually, it's 90 degree connectors for the water pipe, the water tubing in there. As you can see, I threw a little piece of tape over it. I extended the hoses, the radiators on the top here. This one's going to be for the front because it's thicker. And around here, you can see this is next for tomorrow. I am going to be my new water cooler that I built. That one's right there down the side. Well, anyways, here we are. This is a first time start. I just put this system together. So like I was saying, I didn't know if this was going to be enough to be able to stream and run some of the games. So I picked up a 4.0 ribbon. Again, I like to add, them things ain't cheap. I think they're kind of overkill. I shouldn't even bought it because everything I've seen and read, a 3.0 gives you just as good a performance. But long story short, I put it in and I didn't have to, well, won't have to change the BIOS. I worked on it on the wet bench and I'm using an M.2 that I had in another system. All it had on it was Windows, so I'm hoping it even catches, I'm hoping it even starts. There's a 3060, it's a, it's a MSI Ventus 3060 Ti, and I'm really wishing I had an older beat up card because I have like, I have a bunch of 1650s coming in and I wish they were here, but they're gonna be here Tuesday. And I'm, a, I'm worried, I don't know, this thing's gonna freaking blow up or whatever's gonna happen, but here it is and I'm gonna give it a start. Keep your fingers crossed with me, please. Okay, got my little power button. Oh boy. And there is, let there be light. Okay, there goes the memory. And back up. Is the fan spinning on this card? Okay, so there's juice going to the card. All right. All right, it sees the... It sees the it sees the board. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I hope it starts. It's gonna be a different bio set. So this came off of a gigabyte board, this M.2, so the bios are different. I should've I should go nah it's too late now. If I went in and reset the bios to uh default, but oh this is the little mini ITX I've been working on all right so the screen's gone dark what's going on here come on what you doing it's still saying there's light going to it it must be looking at the bios yeah I'm hoping um display port no signal what's up with I did put a display port on there come on Okay, I don't know what that's about. Okay, it must have been grabbing the BIOS. Come on, come on, give me a Windows. Oh, it starts. I picked this little crazy uh, thing up on, on eBay for like, it was like 20 bucks and it's a piece of uh, plexiglass with some holes in it and I basically, had to make some little nylon washes to put through some uh, I put through some um, screws and then I did some screws upside down under the case where the openings are where the diamond is so I didn't have to drill any holes so they're up and then I put it 
drilled some holes in the Lexan so it would grab on. Okay, so the CAD stopped spinning, but we still have video. Well, it's cold probably. All right, so let's see if it does it. Oh. Okay. All right. I gotta get rid of this stupid code thing. It's been doing that ever since I had it on my other thing. Let's run heaven. And we'll see what we get for a score. Okay, heaven's loading. I'm gonna start the benchmark now. And then we'll be back in a minute to see what we get. Oh, by the way, yes, it's a 5700G on an X57, a X570 ASRock motherboard, MSI Ventus 3060Ti, two fan. So far now that it's got video, I can put anything on it up to a 3090, which I doubt I'll ever need. And if I don't need this, I'm just gonna run the, the graphics off the integrated. But I, I wanted to be on the safe side. I didn't want to go through all this building for nothing. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back. It made it through the benchmark without, explo <laughs> without exploding. Yeah, this the when I was looking in the uh, in the manual, this 3060 had two eight pins. Obviously, this must be a rever uh, a version two of it or something. But anyways, to the benchmarks. Okay, now remember, this is a 1080p monitor on my workbench. And it, the refresh rate is set at 75. So we got a score, and this is no tweaking, of 294.1 with a score of frames, frames per second. And the score is 7408. Minimum, minimum frames at 60, maximum frames 581. Full screen, plus and high. And there's all the stuff right there. Graphics card, 3060 Ti. All right, so there we have it, it works. Let's see something here, is this? Wow, it's a plastic back plate. It's a little warm, not terrible, but let's uh, close this out real quick. Okay, so we got that, we got that. Takes a time closing, okay. And let's take a look at HW monitor and see what we got for temps. Come on, must be populating. Whoa, that's getting funky looking. Okay, here we go. Don't mind the bouncing around, I'm doing this by hand. Okay, so X570 gaming. Okay, there's our temps. Everything's well within reason. Okay, front panels, 57G. Package note 41, 119 Fahrenheit, that's not bad. Assembly, 38, 100, that's not bad. 118 memory. Okay, graphics card, GPU. Well, the GPU got up to one hotspot 142. It seemed to, these cards do run hot. These, it's a backplate. If it was a metal one, it'd probably be cooler. Um, I don't know why it's saying GPU RPM is zero. All the fans stopped spinning, okay. Oh, it's significantly cooler now. Um, yeah, so that wraps it up. I mean, everything's still well within well within specs. Thank goodness. I'm gonna try it with a 3080 Ti next. See what we got. So that's my look at that. It's kind of a bird nest. I'll tighten it up, but this is what I get just finishing a Saturday afternoon, getting stressed out, thinking I was gonna blow this thing up. 
anyways if you like this video give me a thumbs up it's really appreciated everybody have a safe and good weekend take care